Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome out to Round Rock, Texas. Beautiful day here in Central Texas on Texas Independence Day. As you get to celebrate with a little Texas high school playoff soccer here in this TAPS Division II state semifinal between two very familiar opponents in the TMI Episcopal Panthers and the Lutheran South Academy Pioneers. With that, welcome everybody in the broadcast booth here field side here at the Round Rock Sports Complex. Joshua Cook with you here on Vibe.com. Big thanks to everyone tuning in from wherever you are during this uh, work day on a Tuesday afternoon. Hope you get to enjoy some great playoff soccer. Winner of this match moves on to the TAPS Division II State Championship game, which will be right back here in Round Rock, Texas on Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Of course, this broadcast is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors for all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your local Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Big thanks to Academy Sports and Outdoors for being one of the sponsors of today's broadcast. Like I mentioned, Lutheran South and TMI, they are very familiar opponents. They've played in the playoffs in the last four years. In the last two years, it's been TMI coming out on top. The Panthers are back-to-back -back state champions as they enter this year, looking for that three-peat this season. Over the last three seasons, it has been either TMI or Lutheran South that has hoisted that final trophy. Lutheran South did it back in 2018. And talking to Coach Nate Hagee earlier today, he feels like this team, it kind of mirrors that, that 2018 team and just what they've kind of been through. 2018, they had to go through Harvey. This year, it's the winter freeze. It's, you know, different things and different moments throughout the season have kind of mirrored that. And he's not saying he's a superstitious coach, but, you know, some coaches, you know, they like to kind of match up some things. He's feeling good about this team, though as they come into this season. So how did these teams get here? Let's start with TMI Episcopal. They've already played three playoff games. They won 6-2 in the opening round against Cristo Ray Jesuit, then 4-2 over the British International School in the second round, and then they're coming off of a 3-0 win over St. Joseph's Academy, Brownsville. They've outscored their opponents 13-4 in this 2021 playoffs. As mentioned earlier, they are the back-to-back -back defending Division II state champions here in TAPS. They beat uh, the Brook Hill School last year and the year before that beat Carrollton, Prince of Peace Christian. Uh, a few years ago in 2019, they beat Lutheran South 6-4 in a regional final. A uh, player to watch on that team is definitely Patricio Pera. You know, talking to coach, that's one guy that they definitely need to stop. They need to slow him down. It's one of the keys to victory. They know how good he is. He was an All-State selection a few years ago. No surprise by that. He gets the ball. He makes things happen. They can't let him get into open space. they got to prevent passes to him. And if he does get the ball, they have to crowd around him very quickly. But for Lutheran South, they've got their own weapons. And how have they gotten here? May you ask. They had a first round bye, so they, they got to sit at home and watch the playoffs in the first round because being district champions. Then it was a second round victory over Regent School of Austin, 4-2 to two over them. Then they are coming off of a 3-1 to one victory over St. Michael's Catholic Academy. They've outscored opponents in the playoffs this year 7-3, to three, so they have uh, played very well in these 2021 playoffs. Winner of this match will move on to play the winner of the Faith Christian School versus Legacy Christian uh, School game. They will play the winner of that game on Friday at 2 o'clock right back here in Round Rock for the TAPS Division II State Championship. So, you know, Lutheran South looking for a little vengeance against TMI. TMI Episcopal looking to get to a third straight state title game and win a third straight title game as well. But let's meet the starters now for today's game. Let's start with the TMI Panthers. Back in goal, it'll be Bernardo Elizondo. He'll be the goalie today, junior for the Panthers. Cristobal Pera, the sophomore, he'll wear number two and play defense for the Panthers this afternoon. Simon Roop, a senior, will wear number six. He'll play in the midfield. A forward will be Moses Lopez. He'll wear number seven. Also in the midfield, Anthony Fletcher, he'll wear number eight, another senior on this team. Playing forward will be Patricio Pera that we've talked about. You know, he's going to be one of the players to watch, definitely wearing number nine this afternoon. Jorge Torado Arias, a senior, will wear number 10. He'll play in the midfield. Two defenders to watch for TMI will be Carson Moore and Tristan Smith. They'll wear number 11 and number 12, respectively. And then Jonathan Adams will be on defense as well. He'll wear number 18. And then Andre Lopez, a sophomore, will wear number 19 and be in the midfield. So once again, it's Andre Lopez, Jonathan Adams, Tristan Smith, Carson Moore, Jorge Torado Arias, Patricio Pera, Anthony Fletcher, Moses Lopez, Simon Roop, 
Crystal Ball Para, and then back in goal will be Bernardo Elizondo. That's the starters for TMI this afternoon. And for LSA, here's your starters for the mighty pioneers of Lutheran South Academy. Braden Limecooler will be back in goal, the senior. He's got 97 saves on the season. He averages 4.9 saves per game. He's got 11 shutouts this season as well. On defense, junior defenseman Max McGee will get the start. He'll wear number two. Daryl Shear will wear number six. He's a senior defender as well. He's got one goal on the season for the Pioneers. Nick Hatch, he will start as well. Three goals and one assist to his name. He'll wear number nine. Matthew Giuliano will wear number ten. He's got five goals and five assists this season for the Pioneers. Hunter Nolan will also start for the Pioneers. Noah Merrill will also start. Silas Garabant will also start in the midfield. He's a freshman. Cool story about Garabant. We'll talk about that throughout this broadcast. Jace Windham will play in the midfield as a junior wearing number 18. He's 19 goals and 17 assists. And then Eli Garabant, the senior forward, wears number 20. He has 23 goals and 14 assists. And then Noah Roberts will start in the midfield. He'll wear number 25. So it'll be Noah Roberts, Eli Garabrant, Jace Windham, Silas Garabrant, Noah Merrill, Hunter Nolan, Matthew Giuliano, Nick Hatch, Daryl Shear, Max McGee, and Braden Limecooler back in goal for the Pioneers. Pioneers are in their all-white uniforms with the silver numbers on the back. TMI Episcopal, the Panthers, they're in their black uniforms with red, oranges, or orange numbers on the back as we are getting ready to get underway here from Round Rock, Texas on an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. We appreciate you tuning in to Vibe.com for this TAPS Division II state semifinal match. Winner will move on to the state championship on Friday afternoon. Gorgeous day, 63 degrees here in sunny Round Rock, Texas. A little bit of wind, you can hear that coming out of the north-northeast at 12 miles per hour. Humidity only 29%, Josh W. That's nice. I enjoy that coming from Houston. Light, nice drop in the humidity. Josh W. being our on-site producer here today about this broadcast. As the officials make their way out, and we are about to start the clock here on the opening half of action here in Round Rock, Texas in the state semifinal. Got to get all the watches set and everything. Wind slightly blowing my papers all around, but it'll be okay. Gorgeous facility here in Round Rock. Multiple fields. I think nine or ten fields. Something like that. All looks like turf, grass fields. Good covered areas. As we are about to get underway here, looks like Lutheran South Academy will start with the ball. As they'll kick it off here. Eli Garibrandt, the senior captain out in the center of the field with that orange captain band around his right arm stretching it out getting ready to go as the officials are almost ready for play here in this TAPS Division 2 state semifinal we were talking about Eli and Wyndham they uh, really the offense really goes through those two guys 23 goals for Eli, and we are underway. Here's that 40-minute clock. We'll start for the first half, and LSA quickly trying to get that ball across midfield, and they do, and here come the Pioneers as they work their way up. No, Roberts on the near side. Roberts trying to outpace the defense. He's got Garibrandt there, and then he hands it off to Max McGee. McGee working it around the defender. That's poked away. He'll get run into the corner. He'll be out of bounds against TMI and it looks like they're going to approach this just like a corner it's not a corner kick though but it will be Jace Windham throwing it in for the Pioneers takes a long throw tosses that deep into the box that drops into the box it's cleared out by TMI great job by them as they cleared out Moises Lopez clears it out for the Panthers now Lopez has possession is that stolen away by the Pioneers, but here comes the Panthers. Very quick offense moving down the field. The back line of LSA will have to be solid today when they come rumbling across, and they'll have to find Patricia Para very quickly as Nate Hagee, that was one of his keys to success today for this team as that ball goes out of bounds on the far side of the field. If you're just tuning in, Lutheran South will be working right to left on your screen, TMI 
Panthers will be moving left to right. CMI in those black, all black uniforms. Lutheran South in the all white uniforms. Throw in right in front of the LSA bench on the far side. That's headed out of bounds. And we'll do it again. Opening minutes of action here. And a lot of action so far between these two teams. As that one's caravaned off a defender. Fought for there in the midfield. A host of LSA players trying to get to that ball. But it's goaltender. Braden Limecooler who will make the dive. Talked about him earlier. 97 saves this season. He's been a very efficient goalie as he boots that one out of bounds. 4.9 saves per game this season. As Jonathan Adams, the senior, will throw it in for TMI Episcopal and throws it into a host of players there. And a shot there taken by TMI. We'll count that one as a... First shot of the afternoon, just to the right of the goal. Good job by Lime Cooler to get over there and corral that ball. LSA working on the far side of the field. Uh, it looks to be Silas Garibrandt, the freshman midfielder. So there's Eli Garibrandt, then there's Silas Garibrandt. Eli's the senior. He was on the state championship team back in 2018 as a freshman. So he's been there before. So younger brother Silas will try and match older brother in winning a state championship as a freshman. As that one gets into the box, and there's Eli Garibrand, and it looks like he pushes down one of the defenders for TMI, and the flag goes up. So Eli Garibrand trying to get into that box. Taking the tumble there for TMI was Carson Moore, the sophomore defender. As they're able to clear that one out. That one's headed across the midfield, but headed back by LSA. Now here comes the Panthers on the other side. As that looks like Patricio Perra working his way. And they did a good job there. They did what Coach Hagee wanted them to do. Patricio Perra got the ball, and there was instantly three Pioneers all around him, surrounding him, and corralling that defense. They're gonna be they're gonna be all over Patricia Perra this afternoon as he is definitely one of the players to watch for TMI. They can't let him get loose. That went out of bounds against TMI. The Lime Cooler will come out and give a goal kick here for LSA. Opening five minutes have been full of action as we're tied 0-0 zero to zero here in Round Rock, Texas in this state semifinal. Nice little job there, chipping it over the top of a defender. That looks like Daryl Shear. It is Daryl Shear. Shear still working in the midfield. TMI able to clear that one out. Now they're going to push it forward, but good chest bump there by Max McGee as he gets that loose. But here comes LSA. They're going to get it up to Eli Garibrandt. There he is. Garibrandt will pass it forward. A little touch back to Garibrandt, but that's going to go out of bounds. It'll be booted out of bounds by Noah Roberts, the sophomore midfielder. LSA had a bit of a chance there to get a run. They're trying to get the ball to Eli Garibrandt, their leading scorer. Garibrandt, 23 goals, 14 assists on the year. Missed header there by TMI. LSA able to clear that out. Good job by the Pioneers back line once again to clear the ball. They get it up to Garibrandt. Garibrandt trying to bring it back down to the ground. Blocking against the defenders. Good job against the line. And we're going to see who the ball goes to. And they're going to give it to LSA. Throw in will be Noah Roberts. No, it will not. He'll toss it off to Matthew Giuliano. Giuliano over the head. Throw, toss, gets it into Garibrandt. That's Eli Garibrandt off the chest. Garibrandt working against the defender. Has three defenders around him. Still able to somehow get the ball away from him. Garibrandt working great in that triple team that he had on him. And he was able to have it go out of bounds off of a Panther. So the Pioneers keep possession. Eli Garibrandt doing a great job there. He had three Panthers all over him, but with his footwork, he was able to still keep the ball in LSA's possession. Now into the box they go. Trying to get Garibrandt, and Garibrandt goes down in the box. No foul called. We'll see if there's a delayed call, but Garibrandt went down in the box. Some fans cheering, chanting that should have been a foul as he went down into the box, but no foul call. They'll let him play here in the state semifinal. TMI trying to work it across, trying to get it back. Now there's Para. 
Patricio Pera off to the race as he goes. He's trying to get one on one. That's not what they wanted today, and that's headed back by the back line of LSA once again. TMI working it up. They work it into the box. They got to get Lime Cooler there. Lime Cooler able to scoop that one up and get out of the danger zone. Got a little sketchy there for a second as Patricio Pera, the senior midfielder, made it, or the senior forward, excuse me, made his way up. He almost got into a one on one, which is what Nate Hagee did not want him to get into today. So, so far, the defense of LSA is working. Now, whistle will blow as down goes a Pioneer, and the ball will go back to LSA. Quickly moving, the Pioneers are going to get their offense set up across the field. So far, so good. All tied 0-0 zero zero here. About eight minutes into the match. So we'll get a free kick on the far side of the field. Boots that one right off of Para. As Para took that one like a champ. That one's tossed over the top and TMI going to fight for it. Who's going to come away with the ball? Giving chase is LSA and they're able to get it loose as Giuliano has the ball. Giuliano is met by a host of Panthers. Now Wyndham will boot it towards the box. That's headed back by TMI. Good defense by the Panthers so far, keeping that box pretty clean this afternoon. Now on the far side, Patricio Pera trying to get a one-on-one -on -one down the sideline, but to no avail as it goes out of bounds. All the action thus far has been pretty much on the TMI side of the field as they've had one shot so far towards the goal of LSA. Now a deep boot there that will bounce and a good job by Lime Cooler to hop up and catch that one on the bounce. That can be tough, especially with how the wind is gusting out here in Round Rock. Nothing really stopping that wind. The wind blowing towards the direction of Lime Cooler. It's a great job by the goalkeeper to clear that one out. LSA going to push it forward, trying to get the ball to Noah Roberts, but goes out of bounds. And the ball will go back to the Panthers of TMI. They get it inbound. Simon Roop was able to get it down. Here comes LSA the other way. Jace Windham working his way to the right side of the box. He's met over there by a few defenders, getting bumped and shoved and pushed out of bounds, and it will stay towards Lutheran South Academy. So Jace Windham will have the throw in we've seen before. Windham has the ability to throw it into the box. Great strength. So Wyndham heave towards the box. That's going to be cleared out by TMI. But come back down to Wyndham. Wyndham boots it again towards the box. There's Goldweight, or excuse me, Garibrand, trying to get a shot. Now that one's headed forward towards Noah Roberts. Roberts on the near side of the field, working around defender. Roberts makes his way around. That's going to be kicked into the box. Uh, takedown inside the box again the second time. This time it's Noah Merrill getting taken down. No call again. So the referee's really letting this one play out this afternoon as Merrill had a shot towards the goal, a chance for a shot towards the goal, and he gets taken down in the box. So TMI Episcopal, very lucky two times that they've kind of knocked down an LSA Pioneer in the, pot, in the box and could have been a penalty. That one tossed down the field. Trying to get it was Jonathan Adams, and Adams for TMI knocks it out of bounds. Max McGee throws it in, gets it up to Garibrandt. Garibrandt going to work it down into the near corner. He's met there by a defender, works it around that defender. Now it's going to be booted out of bounds. Be booted out of bounds by Moises Lopez, and it looks like a foul is called against Garibrandt from knocking down Lopez who just kicked it out of bounds. Here comes TMI. Good goal kick from 
their end of the field, clears the midfield, and now going to work it up the field again. Can't get it to Roberts as that was Noah Merrill trying to pass it up the near sideline to Noah Roberts, the sophomore, unable to get there before it went out of bounds. So the ball back to TMI. So the throw-in will be Jonathan Adams again. LSA able to get it for a second. Simon Roop able to get to it now. Here comes Patricio Pera. He tried to get to it. Excuse me, that was actually Moises Lopez trying to get to it. Couldn't get to it. The back line of LSA holds once again. So here comes CMI, going to turn up the speed on the far side of the field. Panthers working their way around a few defenders now. Long kick into the box, it sails over the top of the goal and out of bounds. So we'll go back to LSA. So one thing about this gusting wind is it gets a little bit more under that soccer ball than players are used to. So they'll end up sailing it over the top of the goal. 13 minutes into this match, no score as of yet between TMI Episcopal and Lutheran South Academy in this TAPS Division II state semifinal. Here come the Panthers, another chance for them. Fancy ball work there by Adams. He gets it up to Simon Roop, Roop kicks it in the box. There's Para trying to get to it. Can't get to it, though. And it's cleared up by LSA. Great job by the back line. Now here comes LSA. They got a head of steam coming down the field. Pushing his way again. Pushed around. Daryl Shear. Shear able to get, get it handed off to Merrill. Merrill going to work it across to Roberts. Now Noah Roberts on the near side. He's got Garibrandt in the box waiting. Roberts trying to work his way off this defender. Roberts going to boot it into the box. There's Merrill. Merrill gets pushed down to the ground for a third time in the box. A uh, LSA player has hit the ground with no call. Chance here. Sails it wide right does Matthew Giuliano. He's got five goals on the season, so he does have the ability to put one in the back of the net. But once again, that win getting right underneath. Man, we'll, we'll put that down as a shot for LSA. So one shot for each team thus far. Not really a shot on goal at this point of the match. But both teams playing well, like we mentioned. They've met in the playoffs each of the last four seasons. TMI, the back-to-back -back defending state champions. LSA won the state championship back in 2018. So the winner of this playoff game has gone on to win the state championship. Shows you the kind of programs that these two coaches have built. Booming goal kick from the box. Amazing header there. And now going down hard over the top of the defender. And getting up slowly. That was Matthew Giuliano, the junior midfielder. He looks to be okay. As boy, he went up and headed that one back and just went for a tumble down over the top of a defender. But Giuliano going to boot it right into the front of the TMI bench. Now whistles blow as Giuliano threw it in, but they're going to stop play for a second. Everyone seems to be good, just waiting for all the players to get reset. So Giuliano throws it up forward, and that's headed back. Right back to Giuliano, though, who kind of midair swipes at it, gets it down the field. Good battle here is Merrill and a few defenders there, and it's going to go back to TMI Episcopal. Great producer here, Josh W., saying he was trying to get a little bit. Yeah, he was trying to get a little bit of advanced, trying to. It's like that no-huddle offense in football, you know, when they try to get it out there real quick and snap it before the defense gets set. But we're talking about a different kind of football today, I guess. TMI trying to get it to Patricio Para. Bounces a couple times. Now LSA trying to keep it in bounds. And they do. And a great job there by Max McGee, who actually ha kicks it off of a TMI Panther and out of bounds. So it stays with LSA. So now Noam, another throw in for LSA, headed back down, and we'll just work our way down the field. That's Nick Hatch with the throw ins. He's wearing that green LSA headband. Got that flowing brown hair flopping in this round rock wind. 
Sends that one over the top of a few defenders. Merrill trying to get it away from Simon Roop. But Roop able to get it. Now it's going to be boomed down the field by Moises Lopez as Lopez tries to get it up to Para. And that back line defense of LSA works once again. Great defensive stand so far by LSA's back line this afternoon. As they continue to battle it out, this will stay towards LSA's goal as TMI will have a chance here. About roughly 23 minutes or so left in this first half of action. And someone lost a some sort of card or... Oh, shin guard. Yeah, you need those. That's an important part. Well, you have to kick somebody hard to get the shin guard to come out. As the Panthers will throw it in on the far side. That's booted back out of bounds. Merrill trying to get there for LSA can't but it will go back to the pioneers as it was the panthers booting it out of bounds on the far side thrown by the pioneers pioneers really trying to take advantage of some quick offense here as they turn that speed on and here they come once again as garibrandt was trying to get there eli garibrandt was trying to get there it's kicked out of bounds and we'll go back towards tmi Am I able to clear it out as they were looking for Tristan Smith, the senior defenseman, to get the ball down the field. And a little battle in the midfield now between the Panthers and the Pioneers. They'll get up. And big takedown there of Eli Garibrand as Garibrand hits the turf. Garibrand's going to need a bucket of ice after this game as much as he's hit the turf already. Garibrandt looks to be okay as he walks it off, kind of grabbing at that right leg a little bit, but he's okay. Gonna shake it off. So now a free kick coming for LSA. They boot that one deep and bends it into the box. Does hatch, but that's headed out by the Panthers. Robert's able to kick that back over the top of his head, but it will go out of bounds and go back towards TMI. Pistol. Good idea there as Hatch tried to bend it into the box for a chance for Garibrandt to get on the scorecard this afternoon. Good defense there as that's headed out by Matthew Giuliano. Looks like they're going to say it was last touched by TMI. So back to work goes Nick Hatch. Hatch booms the left foot to the ball, and that one gets through the box for a second. Oh, big chance there potentially for LSA, but cleared out by the Panthers. So now here comes TMI, going to try to run with numbers. On the far side, trying to get to Moises Lopez. Lopez chasing it down, and it'll go out of bounds on the far side of the field and go back to LSA. No corners yet as of, well, how a few minutes into this. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and no corners yet. Couple shots by each team. Not really any shots on goal yet. Good defense in the midfield. As TMI tries to get that into Patricio O'Para. Para being hooked and cornered now by the LSA defense. He'll boot it into the box, but that's headed back out. He was looking for Tristan Smith, was Para. And that back line of LSA holds once again. That one's cleared out and bounces out of bounds near the LSA bench. Couple changes coming here. Looks like a substitution happening for TMI. Didn't see who came in. Believe that was Tristan Smith heading to the bench though for TMI Episcopal. And here comes the Panthers once again trying to get into para. That's blocked out by the back line. Now a shot on goal from about 30 yards out, blocked and knocked down. By Lime Cooler, another save for Lime Cooler, 98th of the season. Second shot of the day, first shot on goal for TMI Episcopal as they boom that one out from about 30 yards or so. 
So trying to take that long distance shot. The Lime Cooler able to knock that one down with those big gloves. And now here comes LSA the other way. And Garibrandt falls down on the way towards the ball. And it'll be cleared out by TMI. And back and forth they go. As the Panthers work on the far side of the field, there's Pear once again. But now taken away by LSA Merrill. He'll get it over to Giuliano, and then they battle it out in front of the TMI bench. Merrill once again gets double teamed. Yeah, it seems like that's what TMI is really doing once one of the Pioneers gets the ball to his feet. They just corral, you know, they just surround him really quickly. They just collapse the defense on top of him. They can't really have, they don't really have anywhere to go. It looks like it'll be a free kick for LSA here as a substitution coming for TMI. Looks to be number 28 coming into the match. Marcelo Para, freshman midfielder. He checks into the bot er, into the match for TMI. 17 minutes and 20 seconds roughly remaining in this opening half of play as Nick Hatch will take the free kick now for LSA. Booms that left foot. And there's Para once again. Patricio Para blocking it with his body. McGee gets it taken away from him. Now they're going to try to get up to Para. But McGee takes it right back. Here comes LSA. Feeds it up to Wyndham. Wyndham takes a shot, and that's just going to be wide left of the goal. Second shot of the afternoon for LSA and another substitution coming for TMI. Uh, let's see he's checking in. Looks to be number 10 and number 12 for the Panthers. So Jorge Tarado Arias and Tristan Smith check into the match. Tristan Smith back into the match. They got a little breather there on the sidelines for the Panthers. That's Jonathan Adams trying to get that ball and he bangs it off the feet of Eli Garibrandt. Adams looking to throw it in on the near sideline. Tosses it towards the midfield. Missed header there. Chance now for LSA. Feeds it up to Merrill. Merrill goes far side of the field and that's just swiped away by Para, younger brother Para, who gets it up to older brother and that gets right past him and into the hands of Lime Cooler, the goalie for LSA. So Marcelo Para tried to get it up to older brother Patricio Para, but now that's taken away by Tristan Smith. Smith working into the box. Smith gonna boot this towards the goal and another save by Lime Cooler. Another shot on goal for TMI, third shot of the afternoon. And they are starting to kind of break through that back line and get some shots on goals, but Lime Cooler has been able to make some saves. 99 saves on the season for the senior goalkeeper now. So they get it up to Patricio Para. Para able to bounce it down in front of him. And out of bounds potentially? Yes, that's what they're gonna say. They're gonna say Para went out of bounds with the ball. Down by the goal. Let's go, Panthers. 14 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this first half. This game broadcast, of course, brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your local Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Big thanks to them to be one of our sponsors on this Vipe.com broadcast of this TAPS Division II state semifinal between Lutheran South Academy and TMI Episcopal. LSA has had some opportunities, just haven't been able to really get into the box and get a real good shot on goal. They have not yet make, made a Bernardo Elizondo go to work, the junior goalkeeper for TMI Episcopal. So here comes the Panthers, going to boot this one 
downfield, and Lime Cooler will be there to catch it on a bounce off the turf. As he tells his defenders, get back, and the only answer back is sends it towards the midfield. That's headed for by Moises Lopez, the senior. Battle there on the near side, and it looks to be Andre Lopez, the sophomore, working his way down the field. Now Jonathan Adams, the senior, will throw it in. He's been doing all the throw-in duties for TMI so far. So looks to get a good throw here into that gusting wind. Ball gets caught up in the wind for a second. That's going to be booted right back. Adams going across the field trying to find Marcelo Para. As he gets into the corner, now Marcelo trying to work his way out of the corner. Kicks into the box and it's cleared once again by LSA's back line of defense. A lot of pressure being put on by TMI right now. The only bad thing for TMI, well, I mean, it's a good thing. The good thing is TMI is going with the win right now. LSA is going against the win at this current time. So we'll see if they can take advantage with that win being to their back for about the next 12 minutes or so. No score yet as the throwing goes into Patricio Para. That LSA defense does their job as they corral around him, get him into the corner. LSA saying he stepped out of bounds, and he did. So what Coach Nate Hagee told me this morning, he literally said when Patricio Para gets the ball, they need to corral him and just make sure he can't get loose. Pair right now having some words with the official as play will continue here. And Lime Cooler just rolls it out and now it looks like it'll be a throw in for LSA on their end. Whistle blows and play will continue. Good throw in there by LSA. They try to get up to Merrill. That's headed back by TMI's defense. Churchill Para in the middle of that action once again. Oh, big collision there in the middle of the field. Now a foul going to be called against Eli Garibrandt of LSA. A little extra shove there in the middle of the field. As it looks like Jonathan Adams will take the free kick, and he does. And that's headed out by LSA's defense. Adams didn't, the refs didn't really let LSA build their wall, and they just let Adams go. Tristan Smith throwing it in. Bit of a high kick there. Could have been the danger of being called for a high kick there was TMI as he would have connected with an LSA defender. All cleared out as Braden Limecooler will go back to work with another goal kick. Booms that one towards the center of the field, but then time is called as a substitution is coming in. It looks like Simon Roop and Carson Moore back into the match for TMI Episcopal. Lime Cooler will redo his goal kick. Boots this one towards Roberts. That falls to the feet of Tristan Smith. And as they get that up to Roop. Roop working it into the box. And it's headed in. And it will be a goal for TMI Episcopal. And I think that actually went off of an LSA player as he tried to get back. Didn't see who it went off of. But I think it was an LSA own goal. So TMI strikes in the 31st minute of this match. Yeah, that was unfortunate for LSA as the ball got into the box and it just looked like one of the LSA defenders in the box kind of accidentally headed it back into his own goal. And back underway we go. So one to nothing, TMI 
That was Jonathan Adams took the long kick into the box and it bounced and it looked like it went off of a LSA defender into the back of the net and it was a TMI goal. So now we'll see if LSA can answer here in the next nine minutes as that's into the box and they tried to get that to Garibrandt, did Roberts. Now Roberts has the ball taken away from him and cleared out by TMI. TMI fans making their way over from San Antonio. All wearing orange, even some have some in little inflatable Paul noisemakers. They are fired up now as their Panthers are up one nothing here in the first half. LSA trying to find the equalizer here while TMI tries to make it even a bigger lead. Feeds it up to Tristan Smith. Do the Panthers, Smith feeds it into the box and that will go out of bounds. They tried to go for Para. Para was there, had a defender on him. If it would have landed a little bit more at his feet, a chance for Para to turn and shoot. Lime Cooler boots this one away, and TMI will regain possession. As now here comes Para. Lime Cooler comes up by the goal and catches that one on a bounce. And TMI is just peppering the goal right now of LSA with opportunities. Once again, going for Para. Now it's shoved down the defender in the box, and they're going to call that against Para. So a quick rollout by LSA. Going to try to take advantage of it. Max McGee, McGee working it up the field, but can't get it past the midfield before TMI takes back over. That's cleared out once again by LSA. Will bounce out of bounds and the ball will stay with the Pioneers. Seven minutes and counting in this opening half. A one nothing lead for TMI Episcopal over Lutheran South Academy. And Cooler boots that one away and TMI comes down with it once again. Good defense there by LSA. They got to get it cleared up to the TMI side. And here comes LSA. Garibrandt trying to get past the defender. Now Roberts has the ball. Roberts is shoved once again. Roberts shoved again. Roberts takes it away. Gets it into the box and that's cleared out by the Panthers. It bounces right at the out of bounds line and McGee will be there to do the throw and he'll bounce it off to Jace Windham. Now we know Wyndham has the strength. Wyndham throws it towards the box, but that's headed back out by Moises Lopez. It will go back out of bounds, and it will be knocked out of bounds by Wyndham, and it will go back to TMI. So a chance there for LSA. Couldn't get it into the box for an opportunity, but another substitution coming for TMI as Moises Lopez Comes back into the match. Adams will throw it in on the near sideline. He does so. It's knocked away from a couple of Panthers and now Lopez, he just checked in the match, comes away with it, feeds it up to Para just a little too far as it bounces right into the hands of Lime Cooler in the penalty box. On cooler goal kick, gets it towards midfield. They're gonna say the ball's gonna stay with TMI. I think a few LSA Pioneers thought it was their ball. Under five minutes remaining in this first half. TMI trying to find another ball getting back to the back of the net. If they can to extend that lead. Long kick there, another shot on goal, but a save by Lime Cooler. Tristan Smith knocks that off of LSA defender, and TMI really working hard on LSA's side of the field. Jonathan Adams will throw it in once again. Adams 
throws it towards the box. That's headed by Merrill. Ball comes down and cleared out by LSA. A little bump and run there going on the far side as little brother Marcelo Pera works his way on that side of the field. Hands it off to Lopez who gets it to that back line of TMI. Now they boot it down towards the box. Over the head of everybody. A chance here. They got to get it out. LSA trying to clear it. Hatch pops it into the air once again with his head. Turn and shoot there. And it goes off the hands. And a great save by Braden Limecooler. It was a shot by Simon Roop, the senior midfielder. And Lime Cooler had it go kind of through his hands, but it slowed it down enough for him to turn around and jump on the top of it. So now can LSA find the equalizer in the final minutes of the first half? Trying to work it towards Garbrandt, and they just can't get the ball to their leading scorer. And here comes Patricia Para. Para, head of steam, coming down the field, trying to get past the defender. Working his way. Now here comes the rest of the defense. Para getting loose. Para, a slide, and he's tackled in the midfield. No call. McGee trying to get it loose. Tristan Smith gets it back for TMI. Smith looking for Lopez on the right side. Has Para in the middle. And now play will stop as Simon Roop goes down. In the midfield, Roop grabbing his right foot. And another player, Patricia Opera, also sitting on the ground in the penalty box. So Roop will walk it off. Para still sitting down. He'll get up now. Two minutes remaining in this first half. Of course, there could be some extra time added by the referees. As Tristan Smith for TMI will take the free kick from about 30 yards out or so, give or take. Jonathan Adams streaking into the field and a free kick goal for Tristan Smith. But wait, they're going to call a penalty against TMI. I think they're going to get Jonathan Adams for offsides because he came running into the box. They're going to call off the goal, so no goal by Tristan Smith. It's still 1-0. And I think they might have just given, potentially given a card. I think they gave it to Patricio Pera because Pera is heading towards the sideline. So one of TMI's better players just got carded. As the ref has his little notebook out. So the goal called off. Offsides, apparently Patricio Pera didn't like it. Said something to the ref, card was given. So it remains 1-0, TMI on top of Lutheran South Academy here in the opening half of the state semifinal. As Lime Cooler boots it towards the midfield. Now here comes LSA. LSA has been kind of unable to break through that defense of TMI thus far. Heading into the half down, 1-0 would not be horrible for LSA at the rate that they've scored this season. They've outscored opponents 7-3 this postseason. By the way, that's the 14th goal earlier. It was the 14th goal for TMI Episcopal this postseason. And here come the Panthers once again, but that'll be cleared out by LSA. Back and forth as Merrill knocks down a defender, turns and just boots it straight out of bounds near the TMI bench. So one more minute of action here left in the first half. Right 
as here comes LSA now. He's got to move the ball. Had a defender coming up on his backside. Didn't really see him or hear him. Moises Lopez trying to get to the ball. Trying to beat out that LSA defender. And it will go out of bounds. And I think they're going to say a corner for TMI. So first corner of the match goes to TMI. Moises Lopez over in the corner. Will perform the corner kick here for the Panthers. Lopez boots that one low into the box and gets cleared down out of bounds. And we'll go back to LSA and believe we have reached halftime. So halftime here in the TAPS Division II Boys State Semifinal. TMI Episcopal leads this one one to nothing. They had four shots on goals, four shots over or all. So pretty much all their shots have been on goal this afternoon. LSA has had a couple chances down in the box. They've been really trying to feed the ball to Eli Garibrandt, their leading scorer. Jace Windham has shown off his skills really throwing it in and getting some chances there, but LSA just has not been able to get any shots on goal. They've had a couple shots towards the goal in the goal area, but just not on goal to this point. So we're at the half here in this TAPS Division II state semifinal. TMI Episcopal leading one to nothing. They got that lone goal really off of an own goal back in the 31st minute of this match. And that is the difference maker as it stands here in Round Rock, Texas. So we'll take a break real quick here at halftime. Let the teams go and talk about it. And we'll be back for second half action here in just a little while on Vibe.com. This broadcast brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And yeah, you know, why not? Why not during this halftime? You go to academy.com. For all your ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. This is Vibe.com. This is a live broadcast of the TAPS Division II Boys State Semifinal. TMI Episcopal 1, Lutheran South nothing. We are at the half in Round Rock, Texas. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, halftime here in Round Rock, Texas. Joshua Cook here on Vibe.com. TMI Episcopal leading Lutheran South Academy 1-0 in this TAPS uh, Division II Boys State Semifinal. We're now joined by the athletic director of Lutheran South Academy, Rob Pensick. And, and, I mean, just what Coach Hagee has done over the last few years. I mean, to be in the Final Four over and over and over. I mean, just how proud are you of the, the program and the program that he's built over here at LSA? Yeah, he's built a solid program and a solid program with the boys. Uh, it's done a good job of just not just being soccer either. They're, they're kind of a family group. They um, Over the years, they usually have a Saturday lunch. They do a bunch of different things. Devotions today before they left. He's, he's just built a complete program. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's the thing. It's not just the winning on the field, but it's the stuff off the field as well. Uh, what are some other things off the field that you like that he – I mean, you talked about the devotionals and things like that. But what are some other things he's done with these guys to kind of, you know, not only build good soccer players but also build great young men? Uh, I mean, the work ethic. I mean, we got – I think – I think we'll end up having six uh, academic all-state kids, so it's a smart group too, it's a bunch of smart boys. Uh, it's not just about the sports, academics as well as we try to push at Lutheran South. He does a good job of um, keeping them involved. I mean, they work hard in the off-season, they're conditioning, they're, they look like a cross-country team half the time during the <laughs> fall, um, running the miles, and uh, I keep telling them to throw them in the competitions with the cross-country team. And just talking about, I mean, you know, we talked about the winning a little bit, about being in the Final Fours and stuff, you know, I mean, the, you all have been here before over the last few years and winning state back in 2018 back in the state semifinals this year what does it just say i mean what does that do for the younger guys coming up when they see all that success i mean is that kind of the, just the expectation at this point it's like hey get to the final four and, and try to win it all yeah it puts the bar pretty high to keep getting back to that that same level last year we lost in the regionals and um, so it's, it's continuous every year trying to get back 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 you know um, uh, coach uh, hagee puts a lot of pressure on himself and great showing by the LSA uh, parents and fans making their way out to Round Rock. Good little showing here. Just talk about the LSA community and the support that they uh, give to not only boys soccer, but also just athletics overall. Uh, we're, we're really blessed with a great group of parents on all, in all of our sports. Um, travel, we've got a group of parents in Brownsville today watching our boys basketball team. Uh, they'll, our Pioneer Nation will travel everywhere uh, uh, to support their kids and a lot of support on the other side too, not just monetarily, but you know, snacks and meals and all those type of things to make sure that the kids have got a good experience. And I mean, busy season for you. I mean, you probably need to clone yourself, right, for spring sports season yep. because not only you have all the playoffs going on, but you got baseball starting and softball starting. You got a softball program trying to hang another banner in the outfield uh, this season. And just talk about the spring and just how busy you it, are. It has been crazy, um, especially with all this COVID and the freeze. We Saturday we had a track meet. Uh, had about a 30 minute break and then had a playoff basketball game in the gym. So we walked from the field right into the gym, welcomed uh, Regents and uh, it, it was a long day. <laughs> it, it's always funny when I talk to people, they're always like, man, the fall must be, be so busy for you because of football and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, man, the fall is like, it's football and volleyball and cross country and in the spring you have every other right. sport going right. Especially, on. Especially, you know, the, the right before spring break, you've got bat, for us, we've had basketball, soccer going in late in the year. So you've got, not just the winter sports still playing, but baseball, softball, tennis, golf, track, all kicking off. And, um, you know, we try to compete high at all those, so we've got teams everywhere. So, But it's, it's got to be nice as an AD to have those other sports kind of going into the next season because you know then, okay, we're having good playoff runs and, and things like that. Yeah, it's a momentum thing. It keeps, the, it, keeps it going. So, um, what, you know, if every team's making the playoffs, it's a good year. So. What uh, now? I mean, you talk about this year, and it's been a crazy year. We have all the COVID stuff we've had to go through. Then there was the Arctic freeze of the state of Texas last week. I mean, you've probably learned so much, and we've talked about this throughout the year. What's the biggest takeaway that you've had when it comes to high school athletics and managing it, safety, and everything this year? Um, just having patience. I mean, and just kind of being, you know, don't, don't go, don't get all crazy with, you know, when you get a phone call, a kid's got COVID, or you know, or another school's moving a game. We lost a game today in baseball, and it's kind of just another day <laughs> you know just don't panic don't you know the calendar we'll find days we'll we'll make it happen so how excited are you just to you know fingers crossed finish off this the rest of this athletic calendar you know we didn't get to do it last year that had to be tough for you as an athletic director to see those seniors last year but how excited are you I mean it looks very promising that we'll finish this athletic calendar yeah no it's looking good um, I mean I think if we keep the course everything's going to keep going so um, it'll be nice if, you know hopefully we can get back here on Friday to play in the state uh, get state soccer next week state basketball those type of things keep moving um, but yeah it looks like it's going to keep moving forward so
All right, he is Rob Pensick. He is the athletic director at Lutheran South. Man, hey, we enjoy the heck out of uh, getting to cover Lutheran South uh, Academy Athletics and getting to be here for the state semifinal. I wish I would have brought a thicker jacket. I did yeah, not know it was going to be this cold. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we appreciate everything you do for LSA Athletics, everything you do up for us to allow us to tell the story of Pioneer Athletics. We can't wait to see the finish of this match and the rest of the sports throughout the rest of the spring. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Vibe. All right, we will be back right after this. Second half action will begin here in a few minutes. TMI Episcopal leading this one one to nothing over LSA. Welcome back out to Round Rock, Texas, everybody. Joshua Cook here on Vibe.com. Second half action about to get underway. Great interview with Lutheran South Academy Athletic Director Rob Pensick. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy year for athletic directors. And I bet their phones have just been on fire. Like text messages, phone calls, rescheduling. They have done an absolutely fantastic job to get... This season, this year, in so far, and we are excited uh, at Vipe to partner with Lutheran South Academy, and of course all our Vipe campus partners, and to help cover and even tell their stories even more through our Vipe campus program. So second half action about to get underway here. TMI Episcopal leading this one one to nothing. They'll switch sides of the field, so it'll be interesting now. You know, TMI going to be going against the wind the second half. LSA will be going with the winds to their back in the second half. So does that maybe give the Pioneers a, an opportunity here to kind of take advantage of that wind? We will see what happens. If you're just joining us, TMI Episcopal, they are in those black uniforms. LSA, they are in the white uniforms. You're watching this broadcast live on Vipe.com. TMI really out shooting LSA in that first half. Four shots on goal, one of those going in. It was an own goal by LSA as it went off an LSA defender and rolled its way in. So we will see if LSA can answer here quickly to start the second half. So the 40 minute clock has started ticking. Winner of this match moves on to play for a state championship on Friday, right back here in Round Rock, Texas, in the state title game, Taps Division II. As LSA clears that out, there's Merrill. Merrill working his way. Merrill getting knocked to the ground, and the ball gets kicked away. And it'll be a foul against TMI. 
Uh, of course, I mentioned this broadcast brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors for all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there as that is into the box. See if they can get it. Rolls just to the right side of the goal. Opportunity there. Bodies hitting the ground all over the penalty box. And once again, players hitting the ground. No calls. But I think we're going to get a corner kick. And we will. LSA with the corner kick. Heading over into the corner. Can the Pioneers capitalize here? It's Noah Roberts. He'll set this one up. Roberts puts the arm up in the air. Boots it into the box. And that's headed back, right back out of bounds. It'll go. So Roberts will throw it in now. Big chance here for LSA. While we have a chance, get free shipping at your favorite on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Now a throw in by Wyndham. Throws it in the box. Headed <coughs> into the air. Brought back down by Roberts. And a long kick there by McGee, but it goes right off a defender. Now big bump. And here comes TMI. So big chance there by LSA, their first corner of the game, but they aren't able to get anything into the back of the net to tie this match up. And here comes LSA. Or TMI, rather. That's into the back of the net for TMI. And that was Para. A quick strike by TMI makes it two to nothing Panthers. Just like that. They crossed it into the box and coming into the box was Patricia Para and Para fires it into the back of the net. And two to nothing. TMI Episcopal, the back-to-back -back defending state champions in the 44th minute. It's Para. That makes it 2-0 TMI Episcopal. Now here comes the Panthers once again. The one thing LSA can't allow to happen now is the, the floodgates open. Because down, being down 2 nothing, I mean, you still have 36 minutes of action. You can really get back into this match. But, so Patricio Para with the goal for TMI Episcopal, and that puts LSA down 2 nothing. Into the box they go, but TMI able to knock it away once again. LSA trying to find an answer here. Pioneers feed it up to Garibrandt. Garibrandt unable to get there before sliding in and saving it was TMI goalkeeper Bernardo Elzano. Elzondo. Here comes Para again. Patricia Ray got one goal. Works it around the defender. Para fires it towards the net. And that one goes just wide to the left. But another shot on goal. Five shots on goal. TMI has just been relentless on this offensive push. Thirty-five minutes and counting. That wind here in Round Rock really whipping against 
our crowd mic, you can hear how windy it is. And that's really what these players are having to fight against. About 35 minutes and counting left in this match. Opening four minutes, TMI Episcopal able to strike. Here comes LSA trying to find an answer, but that back line defense of TMI. Now here they come with a head of steam across the midfield. Works Andre Lopez. Lopez feeds it up. Well, that's taken away by LSA. LSA trying to get it up to Eli Garibrandt. So throw in here as Eli Garibrandt will throw it into the box. Has a chance here. Down into the box, but blocked away was Jace Windham. Windham was blocked by a TMI defender. Good defense there by the Panthers. Now they get it up to Para. Here comes Patricia Para. Para working to the right. Kicks it right towards the goal and into the arms of Lime Cooler. Another save for Lime Cooler. He's over 100 on the season now in his senior season that has seen this LSA program get back to the state semifinals. Headed out of bounds by TMI. LSA really trying to put the pressure on. Garibrand. Heaves it into the box. It bounces one time. Headed up into the air by Merrill. Headed once again. Now cleared out by TMI as that is booted away across the midfield. Trying to get it up to Patricia Opera. Well, that's headed out of bounds by Daryl Shear. And the ball will go to TMI. Patricia Opera will hand it off now to teammate Carson Moore. Moore will do the throw in duties. Para pops it into the air into the box. Para keeps it in front of him. Bounces it into the box. Now a shot there, but it's to Para. Para has it go out of bounds. A chance there for the Panthers as Simon Roop had a chance. Kind of didn't really whiff on it. We kind of kicked the top of the ball and had it go towards Para. Then Para couldn't keep it in bounds. So now Lime Cooler will perform the goal kick from his own goal. Lime Cooler sends this one down the field. Good kick by him once again, the senior goalkeeper. It's been really key this season for LSA. When you've saved 100 goals from being scored, that's a good season. As they trail 2-0 here, TMI Fiscal trying to add on another. They feed it over to Patricia Perra on the near side. Perra finds open room. Top oh. shelf goal! TMI Episcopal! Patricia Vera, second goal of the afternoon. And just like that, it's three to nothing. TMI Episcopal in this state semifinal match. Moved it towards the middle of the field, fired it from about 20 yards out, bangs it off the crossbar and in. Does Patricia Vera. Six shot on goal. Patricia Pera going to work. Now is this in this opening nine minutes of the second half. Pera has scored both goals for TMI. So the 49th minute, it's Pera once again. They knew he was going to be dangerous. He was an all-state selection a couple years ago, was Pera. And he has made it 3-0 TMI Episcopal here in this state semifinal. So roughly 30 minutes and counting left in this match. Yeah, just under 30 minutes as we've crossed the 50-minute mark in this one. TMI leading 3-0 over LSA. If LSA can... Find an answer, get some momentum going here for the Pioneers. It'll go their way. Jace Windham, Windham throws it in for LSA, headed back out by TMI. And here comes the Panthers, as with his hands up was Para. Para feeling it now, as well, he just wants to be fed the ball at this point. 
with a pair of goals here in the opening not 10 minutes of this second half of action. Long kick into the box there. And it's scooped up by Lime Cooler once again. TMI continues to put on the pressure here against LSA. Working in the midfield now. Now here comes LSA. Eli Garibrandt is knocked down. Whistle will blow. Play will stop. Eli Garibrandt, the senior forward. We were talking about earlier. Him and younger brother Silas Garibrandt, both playing on the team, both starters for LSA. Their dad, Steve Garibrandt, is one of the assistant coaches for LSA soccer under Nate Hagee. So the Garibrandt family all into the soccer. Wyndham will boot this one into the box, trying to get a chance here for Garibrandt, but that's headed back out. Brought down by TMI, battle for it there in the box, but it looks like yeah, TMI is gonna come away with it, but Nick Hatch comes up. Good job by him to boot this one towards that side of the field, but it will be a goal kick for TMI Episcopal. Uh, roughly 28 minutes remaining in this contest. This taps Division II state semifinal. And here comes LSA. Once again, push back Para. Good defense there. Para hits the ground. Ball will go towards TMI Episcopal. Para telling his teammates just kind of slow the pace. No reason to rush. Carson Moore will throw it in for the Panthers now. Moore works it up. And this opening 12 minutes have been big for the Panthers. They have come out of that half. They made some adjustments. Got the ball to Patricio Pera, and a pair of goals for him has made this a 3-0 advantage for TMI Episcopal. LSA trying to work their way around, but TMI once again takes it away. Now Patricio Pera. Pera works his way around one defender. Side kicks it to the middle of the field. TMI trying to work it into the box. Good defense there. Defender falls down and the ball will go towards LSA. So LSA gonna try to put the pressure on here. That's headed back by that back line. So they try to get it up to Garibrandt. Eli working in the middle of the field, trying to get the ball back now. TMI able to clear. LSA going down the far sideline, trying to work this ball towards the middle of the field, but they can't. That TMI defense has just been too good today. They've really just kept LSA out of the box. Ball will go back to TMI. Substitution coming for the Panthers as looks like Tristan Smith is checked into the match for TMI. Working on the far side of the field. LSA trying to Take advantage of a one-on-one -on -one there, but the ball goes too far forward as Bernardo Elizondo able to come up and get it. He boots it away towards the midfield. Coming away with it is Tristan Smith. Smith feeds it over to Adams. Adams, that's kicked away by a trailing defender. Looks to be Silas Garibrandt. 
as it came right behind Tristan Smith and booted it away. But it last went off of Smith's foot. So Lime Cooler will take the goal kick here. Another substitution coming for TMI as checking into the match. Looks to be Jorge Garcia, senior forward for the Panthers. So Garcia, fresh set of legs coming in. Tristan Smith also fresh. Not a lot of substitutions for LSA. Really just sticking with this starting 11 as Nate Hagee. Battle for the ball in front of the Panthers bench and the flag will go up towards LSA. So the Pioneers will take over with the throw in and that's headed back towards LSA's goal. And they'll clear it out in the midfield. Here comes LSA. Head of steam down the field was Daryl Shear, but he gets that one booted away from him. Shear wearing those very bright kind of yellow and pinkish kind of cleats. Definitely can't miss those. So they work it into the box. The goalie is out of the box. He came up to defend against it. Now LSA potentially has a chance here. Elizondo able to get back in goal. Now a long shot there. It's caught by Elizondo. As the save there. Shot taken from about 40 yards out. Have to see who took that shot. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. Matthew Giuliano. It's the second shot attempt of the day by Giuliano. As he fired that one on. That was actually shot on goal for LSA. Giuliano again. Fires it. One hand. It goes off of the hand of Bernardo Elizondo in the goal. He goes up back over the top of the goal. So LSA will get a corner kick. Second corner of the day. Can LSA capitalize here with the win in their advantage? Noah Merrill, the junior midfielder. He will set up on the far corner. Boots it into the box. Headed towards the goal, but it is cleared out by TMI. Now back to Merrill. Merrill fires it in a roll right to the hands of Elizondo. Another shot for LSA, another shot on goal. So they are starting to put the pressure on here. As they will definitely have to put the pressure on being down 3 nothing with roughly about 22 minutes left in this contest. Nearing the 60th minute of the match we are here in Round Rock, Texas. Beautiful day. Taps Division II state semifinal between TMI Episcopal and LSA as Jorge Garcia works it up the field for TMI. Hands it off to Moises Lopez. Lopez able to come loose. Feeds it off to Tristan Smith. Smith working his way to his left. Has the defender come and take it away from, from him. That's Daryl Shear. Shear doing a great job on the defense there for LSA as he's able to get that away from Tristan Smith and prevent another goal. I have TMI Episcopal. Now another substitution coming for the Panthers as a pair of players will check in. It looks to be Carlo Quintanilla and Iker Zamudio checking into the match for TMI Episcopal. Throwing it on the near side is Carson Moore, the sophomore. Moore turns and feeds it off to Cristobal Para. They'll get in the box. Now Tristan Smith. Smith able to split the defender. Smith shot on goal, but he misses just wide to the left. Tristan Smith is a tall, rangy soccer player. He's had a couple shots on goal. I think he was the one that maybe had the, the free kick that went into the box that was eventually an own goal by LSA as they knocked it into their own goal. But he has had a few shots towards the goal this afternoon. See if LSA can find the back of the net here and get one going on their side of things. Ball stays with the Pioneers on the far side as they battle back and forth. Wyndham comes over and 
feeds it to the far side of the field. Still fighting over there, but TMI still keeping it on LSA's side of the field. Play will continue quickly here as they get it up to Garibrandt. Eli Garibrandt has the ball, but he's surrounded by defenders. And a shove, and looks like they're going to call Garibrandt for the foul. And a yellow card given to Eli Garibrandt. So Eli Garibrandt, the senior, will head to the bench. There's a little bit of frustration starting to seep out here for LSA. He's checking in and looks to be Noah Robert. So there's a Noah Robert and a Noah Roberts on this team. So Noah Robert, wearing number zero, checks into the match. He checks in for Eli Garibrandt, who just got handed a yellow card after a little extra shove. Play will continue as a free kick coming for TMI. Boots that one across the midfield. And it's headed out of bounds and will stay with the Panthers. It's the fourth playoff match for TMI this postseason. They've outscored opponents 16 to four up to this point as that ball is headed into the box. It will bounce once, needs to be cleared out. And a great job by the LSA defenders to clear that one out. Now a shot taken again, and this time it's wrapped up by Braden Limecooler. Great job on that previous play by Silas Garibrandt, the freshman midfielder, as he was able to kind of body block and keep the defender, the TMI players from able to knocking that one into the back of the net. TMI leading this one three to nothing. About 17 minutes left in this Taps Division II state semifinal. Kristen Smith working it across for TMI Pistols. That's knocked back by LSA. Now here's a chance. Here's a chance for the Pioneers. As they get it up to Wyndham, Wyndham feeds it to the far side of the field. Bringing it forward into the box, but it's going to be picked up by the TMI goalie, Bernardo Elizondo. As giving chase was Noah Robert. And on the season, Noah Robert does have six goals to his name. He came in in substitution for Eli Garibrandt. Now they're looking for Robert. Wyndham working his way up. Fancy feet there by Wyndham. Up to Merrill. Merrill in the center of the field. Turns and fires. That's right into a defender. Can LSA answer him? No, they can't as it's taken away by TMI. Back to the midfield. And play is stopped here. Looks like a handball is called against TMI. And substitutions are waiting on the far side. One of those substitutions looks to be Eli Garibrandt. It is the captain standing over there waiting. But a handball called against TMI. A chance here for LSA. Jace Windham, the junior midfielder. From about 30 yards out, we'll have a free kick. Can he bend this one into the goal for LSA? Wyndham fires it and just over the top of the net. Substitutions will come in now. As Noah Robert will check out for LSA, checking in will be Eli Garibrandt checking in for TMI I have to see once he turns it looks to be number 25 which is Franco Para it 
Here comes LSA, and that's cleared out. Jace Windham had a chance. Fed it over to Matthew Giuliano. Now battle for the ball on the far side goes out of bounds. I think they're going to award a corner to LSA. That's the way it looks. LSA will get its second corner or third corner of the game, excuse me. They're going to set this up quickly. Merrill sets up the corner, kick in the far side of the field. Boots it into the box. That's headed back out by TMI's Carson Moore. So now a throw in will come for LSA. That's Jace Windham. Windham will make his way over there. Windham has the strength to get it in the box. Really heaves it deep into the box. And that's cleared out right in front of the goal. A chance there for LSA. That was cleared out by Jorge Garcia, the senior forward. LSA had a chance as it bounced into the box right in front of the net. If there would have been somebody there to just slide it into the net, they would have had a goal. But nobody home, and it was TMI's defense that holds once again. 67th minute of this match. Just roughly over 10 minutes remaining in this one. LSA really fighting here of late. As a shot there for TMI. Seventh shot of the afternoon for the Panthers. It's scooped up once again. A little extra bump there by Gara Brandt as that goes out of bounds. It's knocked out of bounds by Cristobal Para. Now they go into the box quickly. LSA trying to do something quickly here. Now Wyndham fires it towards the net. That's scooped up by Elizondo and LSA. Another shot on goal, but still have not been able to break through the wall. LSA head coach Nate Hagee really cheering on his guys from the sideline, trying to get them fired up for these last 12, 13 minutes of this match, trying to make a comeback here against TMI Episcopal. A whole slew of substitutes waiting for the Panthers on the far side of the field. It looks like three substitutions will come in for TMI here when so we get a stoppage of play. Here come the Pioneers. Wyndham feeds it up. Cross into the box. That's knocked away by TMI once again. It's a good idea on the cross. Yeah, it looks like Noah Roberts was on the far side of the field trying to cross it into the box for Eli Garibrandt, but nothing going there. And now mass substitutions coming for TMI as three players will check in. Looks to be 24 and 44 and one more. So Teddy Lopez has checked into this match. Aiden Sherman has checked into this match and one more substitution as well for TMI. Just didn't see him come on. Those three substitutions that came on for the Panthers here. So just over 10 minutes left in this match. As we pass the 70th minute. Lime Cooler boots this one from the LSA goal. See if LSA can get something going here as Noah Merrill was in the mix there in the middle. So it looks like Matthew Giuliano will take the drop ball. He does so in the middle of the field and TMI able to fire that right back towards LSA. Time ticking away here in this TAPS Division II state semifinal. 
Like mentioned earlier, TMI with wins over Cristo Ray Jesuit, British International School, and St. Joseph's Academy Brownsville so far this postseason. Three in the O oh, in the postseason is TMI. As they look for win number four here this afternoon, and that fourth win will punch their ticket back to the state championship match. Good defense there by TMI. As now Jace Wyndham. Wyndham gets loose. Wyndham loose for LSA. Wyndham into the box. Trying to cross it to Garibrandt is what Wyndham was trying to do, but had it knocked away. So now a corner opportunity for LSA. Fourth corner of the afternoon. Wyndham will take the corner. Boots it into the box. Bends it nicely. Header into the goal! Goal, Pioneers! Believe it was Daryl Shear with the header goal for the Pioneers as they're on the board. 72nd minute and LSA has knocked one into the back of the net. A great corner by Jace Windham. Fired into the box. And it was Daryl Shear that heads it home for LSA. So three to one, LSA on the board now with just over eight minutes remaining in this state semifinal match. TMI made some substitutions after that goal one of those substitutions was, I believe, Patricia Opera checked back into the game. So TMI kind of putting their starters back into the match once LSA found the back of the net. Now a long kick into the net. Header by Tristan Smith. Great save by Braden Limecooler. Now LSA going to try to fire back. That's headed back by the back line defense of TMI Episcopal. Braden Limecooler has played really well today, even though those three goals, one was an own goal. He's given up two goals today, but he has had a ton of saves. Now here comes Wyndham. Wyndham the other way. Wyndham fighting through the defense. He has that one knocked away. Wyndham still in that double team. Wyndham trying to fight his way out. He's triple team now on that side. Wyndham still fighting for the ball. What a play. What a play by Wyndham. Wyndham somehow gets loose, and now a penalty is called as players all over the ground. It looks like the ball will go back to TMI. LSA giving everything they can. 74th minute of the match. Daryl Shear with that soaring goal. His second goal of the season. I'll have to confirm with Coach Hagee after the match, but I believe that's who scored that header. On that great corner by Wyndham. LSA still fighting with TMI. And here comes Shearer once again. Shearer working his way up the field, has it taken away. This time by Simon Roop. Roop trying to give it off. Now Moises Lopez came away with it. But LSA still fighting here to the end. Ball will stay with LSA. So on the fourth corner of the day, LSA gets their first goal of the day. Now pass into the box. It's cleared out though. LSA still fighting for it here. Bodies hitting the ground <laughs> over there as these last few minutes will be highly intense as the winner will go to the state championship match on Friday afternoon. No Roberts working it on the far side. Boots it into the box. Whistle sounds. I thought I heard a whistle. I didn't. Thought there was a whistle, but... Oh, the, the other match. 
shot there just wide of the net and LSA giving everything they can here in these final few minutes. 76th minute, roughly four minutes and counting left in this match. TMI boots that one away. Coming up for it is Noah Merrill. Garibrandt coming to the near sideline, fighting for it. He'll get the ball from the ball boy. <clears throat> Hand it off to Wyndham. Wyndham will do the throw in duties. Jace Wyndham really going to wind this one up. Fires it deep into the box, and it's headed away by TMI. Good defense there by the Panthers. This one falls to the midfield. Nick Hatch trying to keep it on LSA's side. Does so, but just scoots it out of bounds in front of the LSA bench. But it'll be TMI ball. LSA down in the box. Dangerous play there by goalie Bernardo Elizondo as he came out of net to come up and get that with the wind blowing in his face. Have to be careful with that because the ball could, you know, kind of carry him a little differently with that wind gusting. So LSA took advantage of that wind on that corner as a beautiful corner by Jace Windham ends up being headed in by Daryl Shear. But down three to one with less than four minutes remaining in this match, LSA is gonna have to really push the ball back down on their side of the field. Moises Lopez fights for the ball. He has it for TMI. Passes it into Para. That's just kicked away by that backline defense by LSA. Good defense there not to allow Para to get a free shot on goal. Para, two goals in this half. Both of those coming in the opening 10 minutes of the half. One on a crosser and then just one straight on from about 25 yards out as he just banged it off the crossbar and in for the Panthers. That really gave TMI a lot of momentum, but LSA getting a little bit of it back here late with that header goal by Shear. Fighting for the ball on the far side. Ball will stay with TMI. Just over a minute remaining. We will see if they will add any extra time. Really haven't been any injuries in this match or injury time. I think potentially a warning given to the TMI bench now as play was stopped for a second. Simon Roop throws it in. Roop's throw in will go out of bounds and we'll go back with LSA. LSA going to try to answer here quickly. TMI wins the ball back. Tristan Smith trying to chase it down for TMI, but can't get there in time. So now Silas Garibrandt will get it. No, it'll actually be Hunter Nolan. Hunter Nolan with the throw in for LSA. Trying to get it into Merrill. That's headed away by a TMI defender. And a penalty called against LSA. So ball will go back to TMI with just under... 30 seconds remaining in the match. A minute and a half is what we just heard from the referee. So a minute and a half left in the match. And that's knocked out of bounds. Tristan Smith will throw it in here for the Panthers. Looks to his right. Tosses it in. Gets it in the crystal ball para. Fires that into the box. That's knocked away by Lutheran South's defense. Here comes TMI trying to add one more late goal. Moises Lopez feeds it off to Patricio Pera. Pera fires it towards the goal. Too high. And so Braden Limekuller will have another goal kick here. The senior wearing the purple top this afternoon fires it towards the midfield. Good defense there. Going the other way is Garibrandt. That's knocked away by TMI. Tristan Smith will fire it. 
And that will do it. The final three whistles blow, and TMI, the Panthers, have won this match 3-1. to one. Lutheran South Academy season comes to an end in the Taps Boys State Semifinals in Division Two. So TMI Episcopal will move on to play for their third straight state championship on Friday afternoon at two o'clock here in Round Rock, Texas. They will take on the winner of Faith Christian School and Legacy Christian right back here at two o'clock on Friday. TMI Episcopal looking for its third straight state championship. With the win, TMI Episcopal improves to 4-0 in the postseason. They have now outscored opponents 16-5 in the 2021 playoffs. The goal given up by TMI was the first since the win over the British school. As for LSA, they give up three goals this afternoon. They outscore opponents 8-6 in the 2021 playoffs. As you see, the LSA Pioneers coming over and getting one last applause from their fans. What a job by LSA this season as they get back to the state semifinals. They've been here before, they've been this far in the playoffs. The senior class is a strong one as Braden Limecooler, the goalie, finishes the season with over 100 saves. They also say goodbye to Daryl Shearer who ended up scoring his only goal. His second goal of the season today, the only goal of the match for LSA came from Shear on the header. They'll also say goodbye to David Aguilera and Eli Garibrandt. So a solid senior class, but a very young team at the same time that is now very experienced that will make its way back next season. Jace Windham is only a junior. He'll return. He had 19 goals on the season, 17 assists. He'll be a big player for this LSA Pioneers team next season. Out of the 11 starters, you lose goalie Braden Limecooler. Daryl Shear will also be gone to graduation. But then outside of that, and Eli Garibrandt. So three of your 11 starters will be gone to graduation, but eight of your 11 starters will be back for the 2022 season. What a season it was for LSA. They finish the year in the state semifinals. They fall short to TMI Episcopal this afternoon, 3-2-1. That'll do it for our broadcast from Round Rock, Texas this afternoon. Thanks to everybody for tuning in this afternoon to watch TAPS Division II state semi semifinal soccer on Vibe.com. Big appreciation to our entire crew here in Round Rock, Texas. Josh W. producing the broadcast this afternoon. This broadcast, of course, is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts at Vibe Houston, Vibe Texas on Facebook as well for more coverage of high school sports throughout the 2021 season. Well, for everyone at Vipe Media, we appreciate everyone tuning in. Great season by Lutheran South Academy as they finish here in the state semifinals. TMI Episcopal moves on to the state championship match where they'll play on Friday for their third straight state championship here in TAPS Division II. That'll do it for our broadcast here from Round Rock, Texas. Big thanks to everyone that made this possible this afternoon. Big thanks to our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. I'm Joshua Cook, signing off from Round Rock, Texas. Goodbye, everybody.